Anthony DiPolito is a free man. This picture from his attorney's Facebook page shows DiPolito Monday after a jury acquitted him of murdering Ronald Addy outside this Oakland Park apartment complex in September 2014. The first thing I did when I walked out of the courtroom was walk over and just grab a tree. DiPolito still dealing with what happened that night that led to his arrest on a charge of second degree murder and left him locked up for 30 months. DiPolito said he went to his ex-girlfriend's apartment to drop off some of her stuff. It was in the wee hours of the morning. It was probably not the wisest decision that I ever made. But he said he and the woman were still on good terms. You know, I had uh, I had spent time there, you know, 24 hours prior to this. Mm. You know, she had cooked me dinner. DiPolito said the woman's new boyfriend confronted him as soon as he knocked on the door. He was extremely aggressive. DiPolito says it's when he was pinned up against this railing that he knew he faced a choice. He said the guy he was fighting with punched him in the head, had him pinned up against the railing, and DiPolito thought he might get pushed over the railing to the ground below. DiPolito told me that's when he knew he had to fight back. Whatever it takes at that point, you got to do what you got to do to protect yourself, and that's what I did. I did nothing more than simply defend myself. DiPolito said he punched the other man several times to get away from him, then left. There was no opportunity for him to retreat. Eric Schwartzreich is DiPolito's attorney. I don't know. It's sad that Mr. Addy, and it's awful, lost his life. But legally and justifiably, people are allowed to defend themselves. DiPolito says he didn't know that Ronald Addy died at the apartment until hours after Broward Sheriff's Office detectives questioned him. He told me he wishes Ronald Addy had lived. Hey, this is something I have to live with for the rest of my life. Whether or not I was legally in the right to do what I did, it still does not change the fact that a person has passed away. That's hard to live with. In Oakland Park, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.